Hi guys, in this tutorial, I'm going to share on how to use pipelines and filters in Linux Terminal. I will separate this video to two parts as I want to make the video short and easy to follow. Before I begin, let me explain a little bit about pipeline and its function. Pipeline is a set of processes chained by their extended streams so that the output of each process feeds directly as an input to the next one. Pipeline is often used to perform complex operations on data. Pipeline will have a basic syntax of first command followed with a pipe operator which is a vertical bar followed with a second command, and so on. The commands that is used in this way are also referred to as filters. You can use several commands together in a long sequence of pipeline and get the output that you want. I will share several commands that can be used as a filter in this tutorial. Please note that I only share a basic command in this tutorial. For more info on the usage of these commands, please refer to your main pages. The first command that can be used is a command called less. Less will allow you to quickly browse any file section by section. In this example, when I pipe lshw command to list command, the output is displayed section by section. By the way, lshw command will list all your current PC hardware. You can use spacebar or arrow sign to move to a next section of the file. To exit, you can press Q or Ctrl Z. The second command that you can use is sort. Sort command will sort the output of the first command. In this example, lsusb command will list the USB devices connected to your machine. Once I pipe it to sort command, the USB devices is sorted accordingly. The third command that I want to share is grab. Grab command will capture certain file pattern and give the output to the screen. In this example, I want to search for a hardware with a specific word Intel on it. LSHW command which I explained before release all the current hardware of my PC. By pipe it to grab command, it will filter the output to only show the line with Intel specific word in it. Since it captured the exact pattern of the word, make sure you type it correctly in the terminal as I show in this example. The fourth command that I want to share is WC. 
WC command will display the total line, word, and byte count of a file. In this example, I listed the USB devices on my computer and filter it through WC command. The output of this command will give some numbers referring to line, words, and bytes. As you can see in this example, 9 is the number of total lines, 100 is the total words, and 606 is the file bytes. To print only the total lines, add dash L to your command. To print only bytes, add dash m to the command. And to print the total words, add dash w in your command. That is the end of part 1 of this tutorial. If you like this tutorial, please click to subscribe and thank you for watching.